In this video, we'll be talking about Chiari malformation. This is one type of brain malformation where the cerebellum gets displaced downward through the foramen of the magnum into the upper spinal canal. And this kind of malformation could lead to severe problems. This is how a normal individual's brain look like. Here is the skull, cerebellum, brain stem, spinal cord, and here is the foramen of magnum. In case of Chiari malformation, the cerebellum descends down, the cerebellar tonsil actually descends down through the foramen of magnum to the upper spinal canal. If we zoom into this situation, we can understand the descended cerebellum might create extra pressure on the brain stem as well as there could be blockage of the normal cerebrospinal fluid flow. That might result in obstructive hydrocephalus. There could be different types of Chiari malformation, type 1, which is the most common type and usually present during the type of birth, so it's congenital. There could be type 2, also known as Arnold Chiari malformation, and it's often associated with myelomeningocele, that means which is also a distinct feature in spina bifida. There are other types like type 3 and type 4 which are less common. So let's talk about the different classification in a bit more detail. So this is how the normal brain look like. This is the type 1 Chiari malformation and this is type 2. Type 2 is often associated with uh, hyd uh, uh, hydrocephaly and type 1 leads to a downward descent of the cerebellar tonsil. But type 2 not only asso gets associated with hydrocephalus but also there is a downward displacement of the cerebellum brainstem as well as the fourth ventricle. This leads to a obstruction in the CSF flow which is ultimately leading to the hydrocephalus. When it comes to symptoms it could be headaches that often uh, worse with the coughing or straining. Then there are neck pain, nausea, vomiting-like situations, balance and coordination problem, dizziness, muscle weakness, vision and hearing disturbances, fine motor skill problems, and ultimately sometimes in difficulty in swallowing or speaking. Symptoms can vary based on individual to individual, but some of the symptoms are pretty common. Diagnosis can be done using magnetic resonance imaging. MRI can reveal the extent of cerebellar tonsil descent or herniation uh, through the spinal canal. So this is a MRI finding. You can see in Chiari malformation, the cerebellar tonsil has descended down and it, it is clearly visible on a sagittal section. In Chiari malformation type 2, the distinct features include cerebellar tonsils, the entire cerebellum and the brainstem has descended down. So the herniation is pretty clear. Also, it is associated with myelomeningocele, which is a pretty distinct feature of Chiari malformation type 2. Chiari malformation can happen, in, with, uh, happen to any individual from any ethnicity, but it has been seen the prevalence is somewhat more in the females. The reason behind that is not really known, but people think there is a genetic component associated with it. When it comes to treatment, it can be treated or the symptoms can be managed with physiotherapy, pain medications, and sometimes surgery is required for extreme cases. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes and flashcards in our Instagram and Facebook page. Support us using Super Thanks. See you in the next video.